Nostalgia is a pretty strong thing. It renders that Optimus Prime toy you're still hoarding relevant. And it means that games like Epic Mickey Power of Illusion are not only made, but made well. Yes, the mouse mascot has returned to platforming and in style. Here's our review. It's no secret that Power of Illusion is an unabashed look back at Mickey's classic platformers of the Sega Mega Drive generation. That was a generation that gave us such classics as Castle and World of Illusion, games that fought tooth and nail to be judged alongside steadfast classics of the time, Mario and Sonic, and almost won. With distinctive platforming mechanics, a shed load of variety, and a whole army of Disney tunes backing them up, Castle and World of Illusion were some of the greatest platformers of the generation and their DNA are all over Power of Illusion over 20 years later. You see, Miserable is back. Yes, the evil wench and her Castle of Illusion have accidentally been transported to the wasteland we all got to know from the console Epic Mickeys. With Oswald the Lucky Rabbit hastily contacting Mickey to confirm the mysterious appearance of the castle in the wasteland, Miserable appears in the guise of a host of classic Disney villains to state her nefarious plans and notify Mickey of the strange absence of his beloved Minnie. So far, so formulaic platforming story. But the thing that separates Power of Illusion from the rest of the bunch is its rich heritage in Disney. Each section of the castle is decked out in the garb of a classic Disney movie, from Peter Pan's Neverland to Aladdin's Agrabah via Rapunzel's Tower from Tangled and it's the return of these classic characters and locations that help propel Power of Illusion's story along. You just want to save the next stranded tune from Miserable. What's going on? From a gameplay perspective, Power of Illusion mixes the classic mechanics of Castle of Illusion with the updated paint and thin mechanics from Epic Mickey. From the off, it's an often clunky transition between the smooth platforming mechanics on the top screen and the precision of the painting on the bottom one. But as time goes by, you slip into a rhythm of touching up the platforms of the top screen, either by adding a cannon there or removing a lift here. The platforming mechanics seamlessly make the jump from 20 years ago with hardly a hitch. You can still bounce across the levels on the heads of ghosts, mushrooms, and who knows what else. But the added strategy of the paint and thin mechanics adds a layering of depth to proceedings to freshen up the pacing. And of course, it's all powered by the magic of Disney. And this is where Power of Illusion surpasses its great-grandparents and reigns supreme. Opening the doors to more than just Mickey, Minnie, Goofy and Donald, Power of Illusion is a veritable celebration of the Mouse House's greatest achievements. Levels are just littered with references to characters and locations from classic Disney films. And as you progress, you'll save tunes of all shapes and sizes from Disney's historical back catalogue. From Snow White to Captain Hook via the slow charm of Goofy, you'll start to amass a collection of classic characters. And once you save them, they take up residence in a room of the castle, which you can slowly upgrade. Our favourite has to be Scrooge McDuck's suite, which quickly becomes a shop that grants you health and paint extensions to bolster your platforming. Power of Illusion doesn't waste any of these great characters, celebrating their inclusion with a host of great mini-quests. So Power of Illusion may have the strength of nostalgia on its side, but even for new gamers, this 3DS Mickey is a great platformer filled to the brim with classic Disney magic. Couple that with some eye-pleasing 3D, engaging platforming and a wealth of supplementary side quest content, and Power of Illusion is yet again a contender for Mario's throne.